behind the goal. We reset, and TJ Santeda has it for the Vikings. Santeda brings it right past two defenders. Look at this speed in the open ice. Santeda, great stick handling, great shot. Here's Carlotti, oh! in the end zone, it is caught. Charge, great for the pass, here's a shot, right in front, score! And that is a base hit. The run will score, and freshman pull check. Gets the strike. Anthony Grosso is going to make sure that the Wolfpack fans go home happy. Grosso for three. He got it! And welcome to the Morris Sussex Sports Sponsor Spotlight, brought to you by Kevin Som of Keeneland Latman Sotheby's. And who am I with? None other than Kevin Som of Keeneland Latman Sotheby's I know that guy. Realtor. Kevin, great to see you. Great to have you on, bud. Thanks for having me. As always, a pleasure coming to hang out with your crew and be a part of this really cool production here. Yeah, cool. Thanks so much, Kevin. You've been here before, you know, kind of more on the sports side. We're a former athlete, and I love it when... Our former athletes kind of move on, take the cleats off, go on. At some point, you got to go on and uh, uh, start contributing to society, paying taxes and stuff. Yeah, and, you uh, know, that fun <laughs> stuff, yeah. <laughs> and you're doing it. You're doing it a great way. You're doing a great job. So, uh, listen, realty is a hot, hot topic right now. You got, you know, we had this big, big bubble right after the pandemic. Everything was hot. Everything was selling over, over asking price more inventory than there was buyers. I don't think it's, 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 that has entirely gone away, but it's just been a crazy market the last uh, uh, year or two. Where, where are we at now? Yeah, I mean, in terms of you know, the pricing of everything, it's pretty much the same. There's still multiple offer scenarios going on, especially on the nicer houses. If there's nicer houses, pretty much gonna be multiple offers just because there's such low inventory. There's historically low inventory um, over the last couple of years, and that hasn't changed really at all for New Jersey and Morris County specifically. And you know, my last few transactions that I've been involved with have all been multiple offer scenarios. So, although the interest rates have increased, uh, it's not really keeping the prices down all that much because when you're in a multiple offer scenario, you got to kind of be the highest bidder. So that's going to kind of keep those prices, you know, staying remaining high. Not the appreciation that we were seeing in the last couple of years in like 2020, 2021 at that same rate. But, you know, overall, I think those home prices are going to kind of stay the same because there's such low inventory. It's simple supply and demand. There's just not enough houses and too many buyers. So, okay. So, so the interest rates, I mean, the, the interest rate haven't been as high. There seem, they seem to be coming down a little bit. Very little bit. Okay. Yeah. They're like six and a half percent around around that right now. Is that right? Yeah. And part of the reason why people why there's such low inventory is that everyone kinda locked in at that three percent interest rate and they're a little bit reluctant to take on a six and a half in percent interest rate to find a new home. Yeah. So it's yeah, it's part of the, the reason why there's low inventory. Yeah, exactly. Or if you're in if you're in a six hundred thousand dollar house at three percent versus six hundred at at uh, at six percent, I mean that's a big jump. That's tens of thousands of dollars yeah. per year. Again, I'm I'm not a lender, so in terms of the actual numbers, but yeah, it's like thousands of dollars. That, yep, one hundred percent. Especially in monthly payments, and that's pretty much how people purchase their home. It's not like on the actual price itself. It's the how much is going this is going to cost me every month. Yep. And can I afford it? So that's what that interest rate comes into play a lot. Yeah, the hundred percent. So you got so they got this market, but it's not really. So the feedback is it's not really changing that much. There's more inventory than there are buyers. So there, there are... Yeah, are, around this area in Morris County, it's not really, it hasn't really changed uh, all that much. So there, It's definitely like, I would say there's less offers in on these homes. Like instead of having 20 offers on a house, there's like five, you know, depending on the house. But I'm just saying there's definitely less people in the mix because I think a lot of the interest rates kind of got a lot of buyers out of the market just because they can't afford it anymore. Okay, gotcha. And is there people buying over 100% value of the, or the, above asking price? Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, more than not? Uh, it's not as frequent as it was in 2020 and 2021, but I definitely still see it. The last transaction I had went over asking price. Yeah. Oh, okay, and what are the prognostics? About $20,000. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. What are the the, the uh, think tanks and prognosticators saying about 2023? 
I think they're projecting that the interest rates are going to go up slightly, not to the same degree that they went up this this year, um, in terms of like going from three percent to six and a half percent. But I think you know, 2024. I think things they were projecting that is going to normalize a little bit more. Okay. What about inventory in 2023? Do they have a anybody hearing anything about that? I, I, all I know is like in October of 2022, so this year, that. If you look at all the states like around New Jersey, all of their inventory rates are increasing. And New Jersey's like this one little island where the in, the inventory is like still lower. Is know, that than, right? Yeah, huh. for whatever reason. But that's the, the most like recent stat. Okay, gotcha. All right, good good stuff there, Kevin. So let's talk about you. Like you're in this real estate market, and one thing you know, realty is it's competitive field. You know, and oh, yeah. it seems like certain people are kind of, you know, and you got to work hard to differentiate our, yourself. So, like, if you're talking to a potential buyer, like, what's your value prop to, to, to them when they're buying, you know, buying through Kevin Som or selling through Kevin Som? Yeah, so I think part of the reason why I'm here, like, I'm an athlete. And I, not to say that, like, if you're an athlete that you're a good realtor, but I think you have some intangibles of, like, you know, the discipline, hard work, you know, sharp, I'm on top of it, I'm going to be on time. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't know, like, I'm, I'm here to help in any way that I possibly can, like be a good teammate, right? Yeah. Uh, that kind of deal. <laughs> um, and I've lived in this area my entire life. And I know these places like the back of my hand, and that's kind of what I'm trying to showcase with uh, the, some of the social media stuff that I've been working on. Yeah, and you know what's funny? Like, there are a lot of, a lot of you know, we, we, you know we're, I'm on, we're on social media a lot, and you see cer- certain, you know, some realtors, you know, it seems like they should be taking advantage of social media. And you look at your stuff, and you're doing a phenomenal job. So what's your mindset of uh, what, your use of social media to, to, with your business? Yeah, I mean, I'm just really trying to showcase like what a great place Morris County is to live. Uh, and, uh, you know, highlighting the towns, what's good, what's maybe not so good about the towns with my pros and cons video and then showing the neighborhoods. I'm trying to make it just easy for the, you know, consumer to see instead of like them actually driving all over the place to see if they want to live there, like they can just watch my videos and be like, oh yeah, that makes sense or that resonates with me and that might be a place that I want to check out and see some homes. Yeah, I think here's a sample of your video. So you know, it's, it's, it's you, you're talking about home prices in Morris County and yep. getting some nice visuals of, uh, is that with your- My drone, yeah. Okay, that's great. Yeah, I got my drone license. So another way, yeah, I'm trying to like differentiate myself and yeah, it's like I have clients that call me that find me through my YouTube videos and they don't live in state. So I can, I always say to them like, well, I'll put my drone up. Well, I'll show you the, uh, the neighborhood. You can see what's around there. And then, you know, it's just living in a, in a virtual world. That's kind of helpful. Yeah, you're right. Cause if you're from outside the area, you don't know what it's like to live there. So you, you're, right. pro- you're probably like- and You can do like Google Maps street view, but that only shows you, you know, so much. It's a lot of clicking too. So <laughs> yeah, you get up there with that, uh, the drone, you can, give a little better, paint a better picture of what, what's in the area. Yeah, and the YouTube page is Living in Morris County. Yeah. Which is, uh, you know, a very apropos, because that's what you're really showing. Not only with those videos, too, but you kind of have, you have kind of two, two mindsets for videos, because you have that, and then you also have, like, the videos are kind of showing the community with, you know, the, 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 the views from, like, the Friday night football lights and, and what it's like to hike and you on your bike and stuff like that. Yeah, well, I guess, like, I do those, because that's just, like, a little sneak peek into what who I am and what I like you know like <laughs> I think you kind of inspired me with what you've built with more Sussex sports and the power of sports and how that resonates with people and what does to communities and how people rally around you know sports and communities so I love football and that's kind of what I had the idea I'm like all right maybe on Friday nights I'm just going to go show what it's like to go to a game here and uh and the kids really liked it, the videos, so I'm like, oh, I guess I'll just keep doing it. It's like a win-win, you know? Yeah. Um, and you see some of these videos here, and like, Kevin, like, you're getting some, some good access here. Like, you're in, uh, you know, you're, you're sh- showing drones over the football field and, you know, uh, yeah. right in front I'm of the just, center. I'm trying to be different. I like being creative, and, you know, I just think that these videos at least show for me that I – go 110% on literally everything that I possibly do. <laughs> Even on an Instagram video at a high school football game, like I try to make it the best possible video. I'm trying to time it up with the music, but I think that's just the, that's the level of care that I have like for everything that I do, whether I'm selling a house, making an Instagram video, or I don't know, 
cooking my son dinner, whatever. <laughs> so, yeah, just, I mean, yeah, I was just trying to, with these social media videos, just like a sneak peek as to my standard. I no, guess. that's yeah. cool. And, you know, it does, like, if you're watching that, you're not from the area, like, oh, I, th I think I might want to live in that, that town. Yeah. You know, um, so, Kevin, you know, people, if someone out there, they're like, they want to, they're, they're thinking about buying a house. You know, what's the process with Kevin Som? You come up, it's like, hey, I want to buy my, I want to sell my house and move, maybe upgrade or downgrade. What, what's the approach with you? Yeah, I mean, it depends. I mean, a similar process, whether you're a buyer or a seller. If you're selling your home, I think the first step is for me to come and see your home, just see what we're working with, try to get some uh comparables in the area and then try to come up with a price and a marketing strategy for selling your house and from a buyer's perspective the f I mean obviously we start off with a buyer's consultation just kind of get a feel for what towns you're looking at what's your price point but really your first thing that you should do is like talk to a lender and just see you know what your finances are like it's just really that just helps narrow down the search and then from there we can kind of figure out all right well you want you know, a certain school district, or you want, you know, uh, parks or trails nearby, or then that's the conversation that I have with, with the buyer and try to, you know, lead them in a direction where they're going to be the happiest. Does that come up? Like the buyers kind of go, get that specific? Like, hey, I want to be near parks and uh, downtowns? Uh, and I, at some point, yeah. I think when it's such low inventory, you can't be as choosy <laughs> if you want a house. But yeah, like I just sold a house in Long Valley earlier this year that happened to have a trail like at the end of the cul-de-sac that they lived on. They have two dogs and like it was perfect. It, it happened to work out, but yeah, I think that's something that people do care about. Mm. It's like those little extra things that you get in town. Okay. What about like people who, you know, there's a lot of, you know, this is, you know, a wealthy area, Morris County, you know what I mean? Or even North Jersey. What about the folks that want to kind of move into something, uh, you know, starter home-ish? You know, I heard, I, you know, it seems like it's harder to find that starter home or, or not yeah, so much. I mean, Morris County is really big. And to be honest, I think there is, I don't know, there's something for everyone in Morris County, you know, depending on what town or the size of your home that you're looking for. Like, there's, I think there is always something that you could find. Um, but, yeah, I mean, obviously, depending on the town, you could be limited, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, median price point of Long Valley in October was like $720,000. Chester, $930,000. Mendham, $1.3 million. So like, you can kind of, based off of your budget, you kind of know what areas you can, you should be spending your time looking at and other ones that aren't gonna make sense. Mm. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Um, right, well, listen, uh, listen, Kev, man. But again, those are like on the higher end. So like, there are towns in Morris County that that's not the median sale price. So. Yeah, yeah, right, I'm with you. Yeah, it's, yeah. there are certain towns and. And, uh, and you're right, Morris County is such a nice town. It does have a big diversity. Like there is, it's huge, yeah. There is an urban part if you want to live, like, you know, kind of in Morristown with, you know, kind of the city kind of feel. And then yeah. if you want to live in the country, there's lots of, there's probably more of that in Morris County. Yeah, um, I would say, like, Morristown is kind of like the hub, and, like, the further out you go, at least west, like, you get more of those trails and parks and further spread out houses. But I think Morristown, you got the I – lived, I lived in Morristown for, like, six years. And – I think it's got the best of all worlds. You got the restaurants, you got the bars, you got that cool town that you can just kind of walk around and go to the shops, but then you could also go to Jockey Hollow and uh, Lewis Morris Park, and you have all the outdoor things to do as well. Yeah. So I think it's like kind of the perfect area. You got the train, you go to the city. So yeah, Mor Morris County has got, I think, everything you, you have to, to offer. Yeah, co cool stuff, Kev. Well, hey, man, um, you know, you're, you're a pro. You're a pro on the field. You're, now you're in that, a pro in... Uh, in life and your business and stuff and it's so cool to see it just dedicate yourself so hard to your to your craft here yeah and likewise uh with what you guys are doing with more Celtic sports i'm always endlessly impressed by uh what you guys <laughs> do here and uh you're showing me your little kits for all the games that you guys are doing live coverage at which is amazing that you could fit a, a live coverage um i guess tactical box like <laughs> in this one little bag um, and do this whole production it's pretty crazy yeah um but yeah, I'm just trying to do the do the same thing, man. Yeah, no, you're you're doing it. You're doing it. All right. So we have what's what's the best way people can reach you, Kev? Yeah, best way to reach me is uh, you could give me a call, or shoot me a text at uh, 908-892-2892, or shoot me an email at ksom at klsir dot org. Yeah, and we got or your dot com. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. We got your your stuff yeah. on the screen there too. So uh, 
Kevin Mann, thanks so much, and uh, we're going to have to have you on uh, again sometime soon. Thanks, George. Yeah, I appreciate the opportunity, as always. All right, we'll see everybody next time. See you guys.